Ho, 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 you filthy pocket monsters. This is Spanky, wishing you all a very Merry Christmas. My last video, I opened up 112 Obsidian Flame Suture Packs in an attempt to master set Obsidian Flames. Now, to me, Obsidian Flames is a good set. I know a lot of people don't really like it. It's not their favorite Scarlet and Violet set, but it is personally for me. It has a lot of great cards. The Nine Tails, the Scizor, the Charizards. I'm a big Houndoom fan, big Tyranitar, and Dragonair. It, it does have a lot that it doesn't offer. You know, I get it. I get the hate for it. I get why it's probably not the most popular set in Scarlet and Violet. I get that. But for me, it just kind of hit a special spot. I don't know why. And uh, to be honest, I got, I got a lot of cards really cheap. Well, in this video, we're going to see the progress I made. Because uh, in my last video, I, I had some troubles. I had a lot of uh, technical troubles, technical difficulties. And it, over an hour of shooting that video... Um, it took me longer than that. It just, it kind of weared down on me. I, I didn't know if the video would make it through. I was having a lot of camera issues. Regardless, the video is all there. I got it done. I got the video. I got it out. <sighs> Big sigh of relief. So let's go ahead. Enough of me talking. And let's look at that master set and how far I've gotten. So within this beautiful Charizard Ultra Bowl binder, which I'm going to tell you, I love this real quick before we get into it. Made out of nice leather, really nice simple design on there. It's hard and it's got really nice sleeves and everything. Or it's got really nice pocket holders, whatever you want to call it. And just that cool Charizard Pokeball flame design on the inside. Just really nice. Really nice. And it's just perfect for obsidian flames too, if you ask me. Um, of course you start off with the green energies here. Nothing really too notable. Scyther is always cool. One of my favorites. See, I don't have all of the reverse hollows. I didn't get to complete that. That should be the Decidueye. Didn't get that EX. I didn't get a lot of regular EXs and doubles. Let me start hitting to the fire Pokemon. We'll get to the nine tails later. There's and one thing another another thing I noticed is that the hollows, there wasn't very many regular hollows in this set. I mean I got a lot of Entei's, Dark Rise and stuff. I mean so many. And here's this little Ice Cube Pokemon I have nothing about. I'm going to play Scarlet and Violet soon. I have no idea who that is. He's just, he looks interesting. And I love this Lapras card. That's beautiful. Beautiful artwork on that. Missing quite a bit here on the reverse. Bunch of these guys. This guy, what, what is up with him? I see, pa uh, is it Palafin? See, that's in their Pokemon when I play Scarlet and Violet. I feel like he's going to be on my team. He looks kind of, there's something cool about him. I don't know what it is. A fighting fish is what I'm guessing. Cool. Okay, so my biggest gripe so far. Is that another hole? I don't think I had any other holes. Nope. Wait, what was here? I think I missed that one. Let's look it up. So we're going to be missing, I, I've never been able to pronounce this, Victini. We're going to be missing the Victini EX there. I say we, me. You all aren't missing anything. It's just me. Uh, up here, why do, why are there so many tad bulbs? Why are there three different artworks for tad bulb? What the? That's one Pokemon that is new to me that I am not interested in the least. And in here we're missing a a Palmut. Palmut? Am I saying that right? So we're missing an EX for there. But yeah, that tad. When I started looking through my what I had, I was like, oh my gosh. Jeez, go fairy. I think we have most of our psychics, not if not all. Looks like we have a complete psychic set. Yep, cool, cool. Here's all of these. I think I'm missing a few out of here. So right here we had three EXs straight up in a row. Of course, and we're missing just one fighting EX. Or actually, no, we're not gonna be missing any. So we're not missing any. I keep saying we I'm not missing any fighting cards. So no fighting Pokemon be missing. What's here is supposed to be the Charizard EX. That sucks. Um, that was one of the ones I wanted to pull. They, I, unfortunately, when I started pulling cars, I noticed a lot of the ones that I really wanted I didn't get, such as like Houndoom EX and the Absol and the Charizard EX. A lot I, you'll see a little bit. I got a lot of really good hits. I just got a lot of doubles of the really good hits. And, you know, it's just part of the game. I'm gonna go and try to trade those. When I can, um, not many dark Pokemon, not many steel Pokemon. Uh, there's going to be quite a few 
common in this and like just barely any dragon Pokemon in this set. So we're listening we're missing the Mel Metal EX. Who cares about him really? Like I said, just a few dragon. I mean it takes up not even half a page or just exactly half a page. So Dragonite EX right there. And I don't think there's any Dragonite special illustration rares or illustration rares rares, which is kind of just a big disappointment. I have almost oh I have a full set of reverse hollows right there, which is nice. Got a Pidgeot EX. Yeah, it's like man, they didn't do like they had some really cool Pokemon in this set. They just missed the mark on a lot. And we'll get that as we move on forward. Gradient, we did pretty good. This is the second set I'm trying to master set where I'm missing one freaking trainer. So the trainer I'm missing here is going to be this uh, Ortega, which is just, it's kind of crazy. Both sets, my 151 and this, the only two sets that when I come back, I've tried to master set. One trainer, the other one and 151, I can't find an item grabber. It's crazy. I don't know what it is. So we are going to be missing quite a few illustration rares here. So we got the gloom down here. Another big one that I wanted. This nine tails card. Beautiful. I would have loved to have pulled that. And here's what I'm talking about. This palafin. Man, this is such such a cool card. I think I actually got two of those. So I can get you a close up. He looks like such a cool Pokemon. What is it? They're really selling him. He just looks like a boss. I like it. I think there's one that people are calling the uh, the, uh, the the Aquaman Polyphon, but that's in a different set entirely. I think that's Paul David Gold. I'm not sure. I really like this. I wish I pulled that. A lot of beautiful cards, and then it like I really wish I don't like it much, but I do like Houndoom, Houndor. Some of my favorites, if not my favorite. I did want that a lot, but these is kind of I don't like these artworks at all. These hand drawn ones. On these illustrations for the Pidgeot and Pidgey, and it's like, eh. it didn't hit it for me. I really wanted the Scizor. Scizor is a, that was a beautiful card. Um, and I don't, I'm not a big fan of this Charizard here. It didn't come out. I don't like the colors on it. I didn't come out right. I don't think. Um, I did pull two of those. It's just something I don't like about it that it's missing. Maybe it's the colors, like that pink and stuff, and it's the very basic design. It's not my favorite Charizard card. It's not bad. It's just, like, I feel like these two came out a lot better. Um, I think those called Terraforms, if I'm not mistaken. I and mean, then even this, I think, what's his name? SQ? SQ? I think he came out a lot better than the Charizard, to be honest. Um, the Absol would have been nice to pull. I got... Three of those Pidgeots, which is crazy. Like I said, I pulled a lot of good cards. Yeah, I pulled three of those. Pidgeot, four EXs. I mean, it would have been nice to spread the love. Can't complain too much. It's a great card. Like I said, I'll try my best to tr trade. This is a really nice, simple design here on the bottom with the SQ that I like. So I, I didn't... <laughs> That's a crazy thing. I pulled a full art trainer of Ortega, but I didn't even I didn't pull a single just regular Ortega card like trainer. That's, that's pretty wild. Um, I, this is, uh, this set is really hit and miss though. A lot of these for me illustrations are just amazing, and then a lot of them are just duds. Like I, I don't care for the Pidgeot and Pidgey. Um, another one I don't care for is the tie uh, the. Not Tyrantar, the Larvitar right there. It looks like he's eating kind of like a pile of poop. Just being honest. And they could have made a cooler Houndoom card. Just saying. Then we move on to the Golds and another card that I pulled just like, I don't know what it was. Greta, I have no idea if this is four. Four of those. Probably a crap card and that's why I pulled four of them. Again, it would have been nice to spread the love a little bit. It would have been nice. And then, so so that actually pulls us to, this is the end right here. Oh, uh, no, we should have pulled a gold fire energy. It would be the last card we're missing. This is a big card in the set. One, I'm not, I don't like this drawn art on these. I'm not a big fan. Uh, a couple more. Now, well, let's, before we get the big boy, surprise. So, I walked in to my local comic store. And I found him. 
here he is. It was it was a little overpriced, maybe five to ten over, not too much. And it's got some it's got some damage. I'm not sure if the top is gonna pick it up. But it's not bad. Pretty good shape. And it was 25% off. So I kind of just felt like wow the other day I just tried to master set and I didn't pull this. And it was just sitting there like waiting for me. Now this is one of my favorite cards ever. I love this so much. I, I don't know what else to say about it. I mean, it looks like he's made of glass and everything's shattering. And it just, I don't know, it has like a, like a, like a, like a demon's, no, Dark Souls, um, seek the scale this kind of feel to me. I don't know what it is. If anybody has ever played that, I don't, I don't know, like the ice and just the glass has kind of a seat the scaleless feel to me. Great shape, got it for 25% off, couldn't pass it up. I just want to keep it in there for now, and I will be adding it to the set. And then that, last but not least, we got some of the promos that Reflection's killing it. Awesome, amazing Char Charmander Polo. Or polo. Oh, I still Polo promo, still said it wrong. And the Charizard promo. This one's a little bit better than the one that comes with the set. Let me know what you think. I think that one's a little bit better. I don't know. Both of them kind of lacking. Not my favorite Charizard card. But this is probably one of my favorite Charizard cards. I love this thing. It's beautiful. It's so beautiful. Anyways. And that'll bring us to the end. So after 112 packs... And maybe, you know, a few singles and an ETB. I think I'm at about like 120 to 125 packs. Not many more of Obsidian Flames. And I'm at 90% completion rate, which isn't bad. Not at all. I think my goal um, of 112 packs and thinking that I can complete Obsidian Flames, Obsidian Flames was, was a bit too ambitious uh, in hindsight. You know, but... <sighs> Was it though? Because when I consider the the amount of doubles and triples and and quadruples of that one trainer Greta that I pulled, was it not? I don't think it really was because I almost did. I almost did. Besides that one trainer and maybe a few, I think I would be almost like one or two cards away if I didn't pull those doubles away from um, like I'd be like one or two cards away from pulling a complete set. Of Obsidian Flames. Obsidian Flames is a pretty easy set to complete compared to many others, like uh, especially Silver Tempest and going back all the way to. Um, wow, the name is uh, is uh, Evolving Skies. That the wow it was escaping my mind for just a second, but those sets compared to those, it's it's a pretty you know easy set to complete. Um, you know, I, as I said maybe in my previous video or this video. It's not, it's not the most loved set, and that's okay, because to me, I love it. It's got a lot of Pokemon I love. It's got the Charizard and the Houndoom. The only thing it's missing for me is maybe like the Gengar. But, I mean, that's just me. But overall, man, I'm almost there. We're gonna com we, we are going to complete the set. Trust me, we are going to complete it. I'll, I'll make sure to make more videos of it. For the people who watch, I, I thank you so much. If you got time, please like, comment, and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. But Merry Christmas to you and to your family. I love y'all. Peace.